and welcome guys and girls my name is gadget and this is episode 22 of stoneblock so in between episodes i didn't really do too much pretty much just put a tank here and enchanted my armor so i have protection and mending on it now and also put silk touch no i did that on camera and that's basically it so yeah now today what i want to get on to is creating a room for wither killing but the room that i want to create is from compact machines so at at compact machines so we need to make we can make these guys, so the tiny and normal and all of that, but I just want to jump straight to the maximum and make only the maximum and then all of these tunnels and this one as well. But I want to automate this because it is a pain in the ass making all of these. So to do that, we will need a bunch of recipes and we will jump in here. So we need this. Uh, I don't think I have panes of glass autumn like recipeed up. So let's do you. And then we will want this guy, which is that. And then we will want this guy, which gives us four which is pretty cool. Uh, chuck that in here. You're full. Okay, you're full. You're f not. Let's go like that. And uh, then if we go to at compact. And we will want, uh, this guy makes four, so we want three of these. No, uh, actually, no. So eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that's it. So we want three sets of these. So start that up, please. And there we go. Well, that is so quick. Oh no, I got an extra personal device off of it. Okay, cool. We're gonna need that eventually anyway. So let's just chuck that in here. And I've already pre-laid out, this is the maximum um, size that you need for the biggest uh, compact machines. So the maximum size will fit inside this, which is basically a 17 by 17 box. So if you right click on it, it'll give you a bunch of arrows. So this is the first place you can put it and second, third, fourth, and it goes up to like miles away. But yeah, like I said, you only really need to put it up to the third place away because that's the biggest you really need currently anyway. No. So you put that one there and then if you right click it again, it will then show you the two alternate spots that you can put it. So put you there and put you there and now these guys don't need power or anything so we can just cover all this up cover all this up and they should be invalid block in the area oh we might need to go up one so it might be saying that this is in the way oh no it's the roof Haha, -ha. it's not the floor, it's the roof. But one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, it's the roof. Um, chuck you here and do this one again. So yeah, invalid block. So we need 
to open up this roof and here is the center. So let's grab our drill and it should be in five by five mode. And then we need to break up to, I guess. Uh, no, you're going to do a huge area. Let's get rid of the five by five. And I think it's two out. One, 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 two. So let's go out one more here, one more here, and one more here. And then we need to clear you. So let's do that. Same over here. And here. There we go. So now it's saying that this is a valid area because it started to show this. And I think I've got to push that up one more, but that's just for crafting. But we might do something special with that. Like getting to the thing that we're going to do for the auto crafting with this. So that's our valid block for that one. I have uh, two more that I want to create. And these two are going to be smaller ones. So I want to place uh, one here, not that way. No, one here and one here. Okay, and then if we right click that, it should show that you want to be there. Actually, we want this one block up. And then you should show it here. Let's jump in behind here and go you there, and then it should show here, and here. Arg. And here, so this should be valid as well. Lovely. And it's going to like match the corner there. And then the same with this one. So it should be one in and one over. So that should validate there. And then it should be here. I wish I could like use a wrench or something on these guys. Uh, and then here and here. And that should be, oh no, you with this. And that should be a valid block too. Awesome. So let's just fill this in. So we don't need that anymore. And that is the setup that we're going to have for these guys. So we're going to have uh, two boxes at the back and then this one bo big box at the front. This guy's going to create our big guy. So we're going to need to work out a way of getting uh, 98 of these and uh, an emerald block in here. Then probably this one on this side will make the compact machine walls. And then on the other side, we'll automate the making of the two tunnels. So in order to do that, we need, uh, so how many is that? That's one, two, three, four, five. We need five builders.
So builder, go five, please. Start. Four, five, lovely. Now, where am I going to place these? So these guys are going to need power, and they're also going to need a lot of other things. We could just stick them on the wall here, I guess. So from like here. So one, then missing one. We are going to have to hit them with a redstone signal as well. So probably putting them on the ground is a good idea. Uh, one there. Then we need to leave a gap, a two gap. You two gap. Let's see. Arg. Um. Here, <laughs> all the way down the back corner. So one there, then one two gap. And you can put stuff in front of this. So and it was still scan. So we might end up putting a chest, but actually, you know what? We won't. We'll go like one there and one there. No. Yeah, one there, one there, like that. And then here, uh, we need two for this one. So we'll just go two like that. And then this bad boy, we need one. So we'll just go here. Okay, so then each one has their perspective builder in the right spot. Now, we might as well start with this guy. So let's do that. I'll run... No, we won't run cable and stuff. We'll do that later. But we will need a chest. So um, let's grab... Not Probably a crate would be better just for now, because they don't connect, and I've got those two together. Actually, you know what? Let's let's do the same. It's on, like, let's make it look even, like that. So then we can use chess now. Not that it really matters. It both work. I just want a smaller inventory. Uh, so you and you, now you have that. Uh, then what we need for you are shape cards. So a shape card. This guy. And we're going to need a bunch of those. So we're out of paper. Paper, make me like three stacks. Cool, and I need two for you to start with. So this guy, what we need to do is first build the item for it, not you. So we're gonna need a block of iron, block of iron. And then we're gonna need redstone for it. And if what we do is in the middle here, um, we're going to build our item, so we're going to do you, and it actually doesn't matter. We can put what, for these ones, it's not going to matter. So we'll just grab our shape card and hit our builder. So um, shift right click our builder, and then shift right click our block, and then right click our block again, and that saved the position. So you are going to be the iron block. So you are going to be the iron. Let's just chuck that in now. And then you are going to be this one. So we need to shift right click and right click again and right click again. And that will be our redstone. So you can go in here. And you go in here. And if you click on the builder and show area, it'll show that ah, that's where we are going to place that block. And this guy, if we show area, he's going to place it underneath. And that is it. So turn those off. 
Neil, we need to get power to these guys. So let's grab a flux point. I'm probably going to change up all the flux points and stuff too. Because it's a little, still a little bit unstable. It's much better than what it used to be, but there are better wireless connection things out there. So you've got power, lovely. Now, all we need to do is get a redstone signal to it. So in the back here, I want to create a little bit of some redstone trickery. So if you're going to run on activation and we are going to say never stop running never stop running and let's grab our redstone conduit do you give a redstone signal no i think that one only sends a redstone signal so we want this guy the redstone array so let's cancel that we want this guy so we want a few of these so let's just grab like a half a stack because they're really really useful and then structure docs we've got four that will do for now and chuck you here and you here you here you here and then go like so and then you're going to be a comparator and you're going to be output duct output and we're going to say output of 15 so you get a strong signal and you and you same on this side you're going to be a comparator and uh, output, and there we go. It just placed our items on there. Now to activate this guy, we need some type of dropper. So we've got a lot of options in the way of droppers, which you can see I've played with before. Uh, that was when I was playing with the, um, uh, what was it? uh when i was playing with oh the die that's right when i was playing with all the die and stuff so this guy is pretty good um you can set uh, like a speed and like set by redstone strength and all of that but my actual favorite is this guy right now so eject consistently Inject consistently, eject with a pulse. So wall powered and consistency. And then you can set like a tick. So up to one second tick delay. And then like drop in a random spot or drop straight down. So I'm going to select that. And we don't want you anymore. So chuck you back in here. Grab some building blocks. And we want to build on top of this. Now this is going to set off so that it says, oh no, we can't build here, but we can. So let's go like that. And then we need to send a piece of redstone because what we're going to do is set up this chest. And then this is going to have like a 20 second delay. And you will be powered constantly while no redstone signal. Now, I just want you to eject constantly. Cool. And then we need to get some conduit up here. For this guy. So, I'm just going to run it across the wall, I guess. Is that high enough? Yes, it is. 
So you're going to be insert, and you're going to be uh, extract, and you're going to have no, you don't need a filter because you're only getting this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so always on. And there we go. You should have a 20 second delay. Ah, oh, this just sent everything up there. Ah, that's what it was. Okay. So we are going to have to stop that. I know how we can do that. So rather than this guy, what we will do is use nodes, I guess. Can, hang on, let's have a look. Uh, not you. Uh, Hmm. What we could do is set it up as an end chest and then, but that delay isn't as long as I thought. I guess one sound effect. Oh, it's got little pictures and stuff. Um, yeah, that's not, that's a little quicker than I wanted. So we might have to sort that out another way then. So let's see what else we have in the way of droppers. So with no randomness and more control, that sounds like something I want. No. Okay, more randomness. Ah, oh, okay, this guy. Yeah, there we go. We can set a bigger delay. So, uh, delay of 64, offset, and count. So, ah, oh, we can drop up to 64. It requires a redstone, uh, always on. So, if I was to put one in here, I guess you need power as well. So let's just, wrong thing. Grab some power. Spectre coil for the win. Wherever it is. So, uh, spectre coil. Yeah, uh, here. So that will drop straight away. I thought you were a delay. You drop straight away. Do you know what? Let's turn that magnet off. Or oh, take our magnet out. Org. Okay. Delay of 64, dude. That's not 64. Oh, so it drops one first and then does a delay. Okay. Hmm, that's not what I want either. And I don't want to waste power just for something that I don't want. Um. These two are just normal droppers, so let's try this automatic one. I've already set you to off, haven't I? Yeah, so you drop instantly. Okay, well, what we can do then is grab a node. And we will want a retrieval node. So this guy, which we need more nodes for. Retrieval node fluid, yeah. Node wireless, wireless. Okay. So retrieval node. Is that wireless item transfer? Uh, 
Um, doesn't look like it. New. You can pick stuff up, but you can't drop stuff. Collector, automatic user. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, well. Okay, so if we go a retrieval node on this guy and then grab our pipe uh, in here, <laughs> not, uh, pipe in here. There we go. And we also want a filter. So, uh, transfer filter. No, that's not it. This one. Maybe it was that one. If we chuck on here, no, that's not it either. That's not the one I want. That was that one. It's so hard to see this one. Okay, so this one. Go. Don't need you. Where did you end up here? Chuck you away. And filter. So I need these guys. So I need one of you. And if we chuck this on here and set you to single item only and just for reasons, we'll say you can only accept that. And then run cable or pipe across here. We'll probably hide this in the wall or something later. But for now, so here we'll look and that might take a little bit of time for it to find it and then take one out and drop it. So it is looking, yeah. And we can speed this up with speed upgrades if we really think it's too slow. So let's just grab some speed upgrades. So speed upgrade. So that, that is a little bit slow, actually. So it's searching along. Now it's going down. I think it found it. Oh, but there's nothing in here. But there we go. So it's going to place. And there we go. And then it's going to find it. And voila. Look, actually, that is pretty good on timing. That is really good on timing. And that's like automatic now. So, and that's just going to auto run as long as there's stuff in here. So if we take this stuff out, then obviously it doesn't have anything in there and it can't place blocks. So voila, that is our automation. Now we need just need to get, um, Something over here, some well, like a crafter into a single chest and then pull out of the single chest and pump into either or. So let's grab a single chest. So another chest. Uh, dun dun dun. No. Why did I do that? We just want one of these guys. Okay. And go you. I wonder if I can stick these on the bottom underneath. Do they have to be on the top? Let's see. So if you're on the bottom, Does it have to be there? Or can I put I can't I can't open the chest. <laughs> uh, let's grab like a tiny chest or something. Actually we can craft a tiny chest. So tiny mini chest. There we go. So you and if we say stick redstone in you. 
And you do. Oh, okay. Awesome. So we can actually run all of this underneath. So we don't have to have you on top. And that is very good. So let's break you. But that shouldn't have placed because it shouldn't be getting a redstone signal. Hmm. What we might do is set up some type of redstone pulse or something, like a timer. So like, chuck this guy here and say, if you have comparator and we'll just make you green for giggles and then your output and green power level 15 and say, if you get a redstone signal, or if you have, sorry, if you have a redstone signal, so you've got stuff in you now, yeah? No, you don't. So let's, that should not work if we chuck stuff in it. Yeah, cool. But you should be sending out a redstone signal now. Or you don't detect stuff in the mini chest. Comparator signal 15 output. Well, it's not detecting. Hang on. Let's grab that. And let's just stick a chest here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to open this. Yeah, I can. Cool. Let's grab that. And we'll go under with the conduit. Because we'll go in the back for the other one because we want the back of this so if i say ah i can't do okay uh there is another way we can do crates crate no come here crate I wonder if the uh, wooden storage crate works. Let's see. So if I was to go you and then chuck something in here, like redstone. So power out. So Power one, power 14, you should be sending a redstone signal to the dude on top. All right, let me nut this out and we will be back in a wee bit. Okay, so I think I've got this worked out. What we're going to need is a sequencer. Uh, QU. So this guy here, which require this, let's make a few of these. And then this guy, uh, redstone torches, always redstone torches. Put all of those back. Bam, so this guy, and this guy's pretty ingenious. What we can do is we can not place it there. We can place it like so, no, I guess up here. Place it like so, and it's going to get a pulse in, and then we can set like what it does. So we need to put uh, this here, 
and again out and power scale okay and then we're going to say delay so once no twice no loop once loop three times so cycle when redstone signal is present uh continues current step no loop the cycle when redstone signal is present restart on no signal no step do cycle for every redstone pulse no uh, loop cycle all the time, ignore redstone signals, no. Loop all the time, restart on redstone pulse. Loop the cycle when redstone signal is present, continue at current step, no. Restart on no signal, I think that's the one that I want. And then we need more structure duct. And we're going to come up and over, which we need to make more structure duct. Which is really easy. Really, really easy. Let's grab a bunch of it. A stack. Okay. And you're going to come to here. Then you are going to get this guy. And you're going to be an output. And you, no, uh, this, uh, we need the, do I have a wrench? No. What about in here? No, all right, let's make the thermal expansion wrench. Oh, it's not a wrench. Oh, it's a hammer. That's right. They call it a hammer. Even though it looks like a wrench. Okay, so we don't need this one because we're using the actual one now. So grab that. And chuck down the structure duct again. And then you there. And you're going to be an input. And on the power, then we don't want this guy to connect. And this one, we're going to say enabled, and then it should cycle through everything. And do that. So if we put, so we have nothing here now. Uh, and if it then gets, say, 52. It should send a signal, then send a signal. Yeah, so you should be... Ah, so send a signal. And then, yeah, so if I break that, lovely, that is exactly what I wanted. And we could like compact this by setting it here and running it straight up which i might do but with that all said and done guys um let's stop you by taking stuff out of here and it's just going to continually try to put but if it can't put it doesn't like waste the item so like as you can see i'm gonna wait it just it makes a sound but doesn't place anything so let's grab that let's grab this and we want to then come in under here. Actually, we'll go in the back. No, we can't. We have to go under. This is going to be an entanglement of like stuff. OK, so I'm going to replace you with this. Let's go wooden crates on all of this. How do I make these guys? Uh, no. So it's just treated wooden planks. Treated wooden planks? How do I craft treated wooden planks? 
I'm guessing. Yeah, it's creosote oil. How can, is there a easy way to get creo? Actually, I think I have a creosote oil cow. So we might be able to do that. Um, so yeah, we'll chuck this guy down. And dig down again. You're going to be extract always active. You're going to be insert. And you're going to be insert. And then we're going to need filters on it. So basic filters too, please. And you are going to get a filter. And then this filter is going to be blocks. And then this filter is going to be redstone. Ah, the, this filter is going to be redstone. That's not redstone. And then all we have to do is get our cabling over here and that should be good. So if we go now blocks and redstone in there, it should send them over to these chests. Hey. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hang on. We don't have uh, this guy set up. So we need to do that uh, pipe. So let's do this one the clean way. So structure duct on you and you and you. Yeah, hang on. Let's grab, we don't need this. Actually, we do need that. We need another sequencer, don't we? So sequencer. Sequencer go. And Hmm. We could go, yeah, actually, we could go down and up, can't we? So I could chuck you here and do that and come underneath you. And that will make it way tidier. So you are going to get this and then you are going to get this, yeah, and then you are going to get this. So that's the three that we need. And you will be comparator and we'll chuck you on green. You'll be, uh, hang on, let's set this to while redstone continue its present step. Loop through the cycle while redstone signal is present. Continue at the current step. Con no, that one, number four. And then you've got that. You are going to be... Did I? Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So... We are checking the chest. You're not Caparita, you are Redstone. You're Redstone out. You're Redstone in. Redstone in. Yep. Yeah. You are looping, you are Redstone in, and then we need to do this one. So you are the Caparita and you are on green. And you are on green. And you are redstone in and on red. And then just to make it tidy, let's disconnect that. And then if we go, you are on green. It should start trying to place here. Oh, we want to turn this off. And then if we break that, it should do that. And then that. And then we need to 
get in here with this guy and send redstone to it. So we want this and we want you and the pipe. So let's go This is getting a wee bit messy, <laughs> but um, I guess the only place we can go, because we're going to be using bottom on this guy, so it is only this side here. We can sort of cover this up, but meh. Uh, we need this guy on here and your single item with pulling out redstone. Then we need our pipe going up the side. I will tidy this up. Uh, disconnect this. I can use any wrench kind of, yeah. And then run you all the way up the side and across. And then you should look, find it, and drop it. Then you guys should place your items. Nice, and you should find and place, lovely. And then the last thing we need to do is a vacuum hopper. And I want uh, this vacuum chest. So we need pulsating crystal, which I'm pretty sure we can do, yep. And then this guy. And the reason I want this guy is if we head under here and chuck him down, we can actually give him a filter. So a filter. And grab this stuff. So come in here. Chuck our filter in. We don't want to filter you. We want to filter this guy. And then he should just pick all this stuff up now. Cool. So that is a wee bit automated. Uh, and the other reason I want this is we can show area. And then we can shrink this down so it only ex takes what's in this area. So I'm, I like it how it doesn't count that as an item. And there we go. We are now making this stuff automate, automatically. Uh, let's put one redstone in here and finish that one up. Oh, two redstone. Automagically. Drop. 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 There we go. And a lovely hiccup. Uh, don't show filter. And then all we have to do is just send this stuff back to the system. Which will be awesome. So with that, guys, we've done one. We need to do the other two. And the other two are a little bit more tricky. So, but I will set this much of it up over there in between episodes so that we don't have to sit through all that again. I'll put the chests and everything down and I'll run cable and stuff as well in between episodes. I just also, hang on, uh, let me see. I'm pretty sure I've got a creosote oil dude. Not in you. I don't know why I keep going there. Uh, lassoes. Entity fluid cow. I'm pretty sure you're a creosote. Let's see. Uh, creosote oil. Let's just double check that. Bucket. Creosote oil. Let's see if we can craft, because if we can, that is awesome, and we will set up auto cow milking. 
treated wooden planks. Does that give us a chest? Oh yeah. You are awesome. Okay, well we have a cow that can give us creosote oil. So that is awesome. All right, well, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to hit that follow and like, and we will see you next time. All right, later.